Well, hey friends, I hope everyone's having a great day. I just received some packages in the mail, and so I thought I would do just like a box opening of these. Um, I've been doing some crocheting for Barbie dolls, and so I wanted Barbie dolls that had joints. All the Barbie dolls that I have did not have any joints, so like their arms didn't move and such. So I found this doll, and she's kind of chunky. Um, you know, she's not this normal skinny, skinny Barbie. She's a little bit chunky. And so I have, I'm working on, and I have made some dresses for a chunky, my other chunky one. And so I just wanted to, um, you know, continue working on that. And I'm going to put out some patterns for some curvy, the curvy Barbie, because it is harder to find clothes for them. So this Barbie came from Amazon, and you can see her right here, and she looks to be a lot larger than this one looks pretty slender, and this one is slender, and that one's slender, but you can tell this one, her legs are like um, muscular, I guess you would say. I mean, they're, they're pretty chunky looking, and so it is harder to find the clothes for the chunkier dolls. A lot of people are just, um, you know, trying to make their own or whatever. And so this is the Made to Move Barbie. So this little series of Barbies, they all look like, um, I guess yoga. I guess they all look like they're doing yoga or exercising and such. So anyway, that's not the part that interests me. <laughs> I just wanted to get her to make clothes for her. Let's see. I don't want to cut her hair, so let me try to be careful. <clears throat> right here. Not to cut her hair. There. Now her hair here needs to be cut out. They get these dolls in these packages good, which I guess that's what they have to do nowadays in stores because kids open packages. Oops. She's still in there. Okay, here's one right here. She's still on there pretty good. Something about her hair is in there. Lordy be. Okay, there's a place right here. <laughs> uh, you'll have a headache, girl. Okay. Oh, Lord. Now it's on the other side. Tell you what, ain't no kid opening this package in the store. I don't want to cut her hair, so. There we go. All right, let's see what you're all about. I didn't see where she had a name or anything. But she has long red hair. And I, I did pick her. I, I mean, I picked her because she was curvy. But I was glad that she had uh, long red hair. You know, like um, Barbies that look different. And I have a, I think I have a blonde haired one and a brown haired one. No, I don't think I have a brown hair doll. I don't know. I want purple hair. Oh, yeah. I like the way her um, joints move for poses and stuff. Her wrist, wrist move, her shoulders, and her elbows are pretty stiff. But they do move. And her, her hands are rubber, but the rest of her body is, you know, hard plastic. Her head is rubber. 
And I guess that's a little headband. I might could like crochet her a headband. Or I don't know. I mean, she'll have different hairstyles, I guess. That hair's got some static electricity in it, though. <laughs> okay, and then her hips are jointed and move. And then her knees move and her ankles move. And she can sit, and she can bend her legs. That's what I wanted, you know, to be able to bend the legs and stuff. Oh, yeah. I like that. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yeah, I wanted a jointed doll like this to be able to pose and such. Okay, she's really nice. Okay, she was only like twelve ninety nine, I believe. So I thought that was a good price for a jointed doll, you know, that you could pose. Um now she's not ball jointed. And if you search ball jointed dolls, oh my goodness, they can get so expensive. You know, crazy money that I would never spend on a doll. So, um, with her being, now see, this foot moved really easy, and this one doesn't seem to want to move, but it could be, it could be the angle of that foot, I guess. Hmm. Oh, it's still, it's still good, it's posable. Yeah, her, um, legs right here are pretty and her honey it's pretty chunky so yeah hiya anyway <laughs> yeah I'll be crocheting her some clothes and probably putting out some patterns for Barbie doll dresses and such and pants and things so anyway yeah okay so I got her and she you know she's jointed and then I have a Ken I have I think I only have one Ken doll and he is not jointed at all so I found this doll who is jointed and um, he is a Harry Potter doll um, that's his name now I've never watched Harry Potter I don't know, it just doesn't interest me. And so I don't I didn't know anything about this guy. But I just read on the back that he's a keeper of keys and grounds at Hogwarts, half giant with a fondness of magical creatures. Um Hagrid's loyal and gentle spirit makes him one of Harry Potter's greatest allies. So anyway, he is um 12 inch doll and I believe she was 12 inches let me see if it says real quick I'll tell you what I have a way to measure right here yes she's 12 inches okay and so just cut him out goodness I had the hardest time I was hoping that would just peel up like hers did okay I'm just going to cut There we go. I, I looked him up and did a little, tiny bit of little research about him. Not a whole lot. But I did find where people have, um, did makeovers with him and cut his hair and stuff like that. And he turns into a, like a really handsome man doll. But I'm not planning on cutting his hair. Because I would totally screw that up. <laughs> But, um, I do like longer hair on guys, and so I think he'll look stylish, and 
I plan on crocheting him some clothes and just seeing what I can do with him. Um, the Ken doll that I do have is a little, is chunky also, or I, I don't guess he's chunky. He's muscular, like he looks like he works out. He's not the skinny little um, Ken, you know, that I had back in the day. He is, um, you know, has muscles and such. And so, the little Ken, Ken, Ken clothes that fit him, or I don't know, I didn't, I didn't see any that fit him. And he came with a, you know, a, a sports shirt on. And then I was crocheting clothes for my Barbie. And then, you know, to pair him with her, and he had on a sports shirt, and she had on a nice crochet dress. Just looked kind of weird, so I started crocheting him some clothes. And just, you know, kept playing with it until I found <clears throat> something that, um... I don't want to cut his hair, so I'm trying to hold that out of the way. Oh, there it goes. Okay, well, he's, he's kind of heavy. He does come with something there. I'll cut it out and keep it, but I'm not really interested in that part. Okay. Um, wow. He is kind of heavy. <laughs> huh. He has um, really nice hair. Reminds me of my son's Elijah's hair when his hair has grown out long. Huh. And he has on the shirt. Now he is jointed also, so let's see. You know they're always stiff when you first get them. <laughs> Golly, I don't want to break him, but his arm is stiff. Hmm. He's supposed to move at the elbows. moves I can tell the joints need working like a lot but I can't get this one to move at the elbow at all Hmm. Well, let's see if um, Big Daddy can move his arms. His legs do bend. He has on some like giant brown shoes. <laughs> his knees bend. I don't think his ankles are. I don't think his ankles move. But he's supposed to be jointed in the elbows and the knees and his hands. And he can see it. You can do the splits. <laughs> huh. <clears throat> No, he, he, excuse me, he, he was from Amazon also, and he was $19.99, um, and that was a good price, because I did see him, um, a lot more at other places, even at, like, Walmart.com, he was a lot more expensive, so, yeah, he's, he's a nice doll, I'm gonna compare the, um, size of him, wow, he is much more, um, you know, a larger size doll than she is. But anyway, um, yeah, that's what I wanted was a poseable doll. 
And then I said, well, I want a posable guy, too. So I'm not going to use him as this guy. I'm just going to, um, you know, crochet clothes for him and might even give him a new name. Who knows? But anyway, they will be on Instagram sporting some crocheted outfits for sure. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, it's llama. Mm, is it llama dot mama dot Kayla? L L A M A dot M A M A dot K A Y L A. All right, guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you all again soon. Bye, friends.